Turning to the forecast now with meteorologist Matt Peterson. I am dreaming of the days to get down the shore with nicer weather, though. Matt. <laughs> right, I don't know if you want to be on the beach today. No. Definitely a little gray out there, a little dreary, and honestly, that water is freezing, I am sure. But this is still what it looks like at Cape May this morning. Had the rain through most of the morning hours and actually getting a little bit of a break right now down at the shore points. But look at Storm Scan 3. Our next round of shower activity are actually already starting to come on in. So this is kind of what we'll deal with through the rest of the morning here for the next few hours. We have these light showers. And then by the time we get to about lunchtime or so, this is the first initial round of rain will move out. We'll go with cloudy skies for the most part, but maybe a few peaks of sunshine will break through as well. And while most of us are dealing with rain here this morning, still cold enough for a little bit of maybe wintry precipitation across the higher elevations of the Pocono Mountains. Of course, we do have our winter weather advisory up there in Carbon and Monroe County until 9 o'clock this morning because we have the chance for some wet snow and even a little bit of freezing drizzle before all of this rain and precipitation wraps up again right around noontime or so. So by 915 this morning, temperatures up above freezing across the board, maybe even some 50s already across South Jersey. So still looking at scattered showers, rain showers that is, through about the 9 o'clock hour. Once we get to noontime, again, Bulk of the precipitation is out of here. Temperatures hovering above freezing everywhere from the Poconos. More 50s down the shore. 49 by about 12, 12, 15 in the city itself. Again, maybe a few breaks of sunshine later this afternoon across some parts of central portions of the area. We're going with temperatures that are jumping up into the 50s for the I-95 corridor. Could stay a little bit cooler to the north, but overall, we're still going with generally above average temperatures for our Saturday. Then our next round of rain will come in overnight tonight into Sunday morning. Morning, probably even a little bit faster than future weather is showing. This is 8:15 tomorrow with rain just starting to come in to southwestern parts of the area. I actually think it'll come in even earlier than that, probably closer to maybe 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, and by 8 o'clock, maybe even overspreading much of the region. But temperatures tomorrow will be above the freezing mark all day long, even if they're not quite as warm as today. We will be watching for just plain rain, maybe even a few pockets of heavier rain from about Wilmington through about Atlantic City and points to the south. South with this second round of precip on Sunday afternoon, and then a cold front will eventually start to develop and try to slide through on Monday. That will take all the remaining precipitation away with it. Still look for a couple of light rain showers though to start out Monday morning. Generally speaking, again, there's that pocket of heavier rain. That's where we could see maybe an inch to even close to an inch and a half of rainfall. When you add in the fact that we have snow melt too, a little bit of uh, flooding threat is a possibility for us through the day tomorrow. Then it's a quick dose of Arctic air on Tuesday. That cold front comes through. Windy and chilly for us. Highs only in the 30s on Tuesday afternoon, but it's short lived as we're back to the 50s by Wednesday. So your seven day forecast gives you a 53 today, 48 with that steady rain tomorrow. Showers decreasing clouds and 51 on Monday. Cold and breezy though, quickly Jan on Tuesday and then back to the 50s all the way through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. A small chance for a shower there Wednesday, but for the time being, let's just talk about how nice it'll be by the end of the week. Yeah, I'm trying to ignore everything else <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as best I can. Thanks, Matt.